I'm Donald Bradman from Metal Roofing Online. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install the barge cappings on our gable roof. Uh, this is one of our standard barge cappings that we sell. It's a 75 down the face here with a 10 mil hook and 140 across the top, the flat part there with a 10 mil break on it to go across the sheets. Um, before I get started, I'll just remove these two end screws here because they're gonna um, they're gonna be in the way when we start installing this. I'll keep those because we'll need those at the end. That side will be okay. And there's just a couple here. Okay, before you install the barge capping, just make sure you remove the plastic off the top. Okay, so if we just sit that up there like that, Basically with the bottom of the barge capping here, we just make that as neat as, as, neat as possible really. Um, there's lots of different ways you can do it. I like to bring this, this top flat part down to the end of the sheets here. And I'll, um, I'll just cut a section out of this stop end. And then I'll just make a little cut across the top of the um, barge capping there so it slides down. And then I'll just neaten up this, this face of the barge capping here. It's about 40 mil down. And if I just cut the, a section of this stop end out to make it just so that it's a flat at the top here, and then we won't have to cut so much out of the um, out of the barge capping. See how that goes. This needs to come down another 25 mil where this hook's catching on the end of the gutter here, so I'll cut that back 25 mil. You'll also notice on the um, on the gutter here, I've run the past the the end of the gutter past the fascia about eight mil to make up for this hook here, so that it ties in nicely. Okay, that's nearly there now. You just got to make sure that the top of the barge capping is also flat with the um, with the corrugations of the sheets not sitting up or, or pulling down at all. Just try and get it as flat as possible. So where that's hitting there, I'm still a little bit short with the hook there. So I'll, I'll take a little bit more out of this cut at the top here and then that'll come down slightly more.
should do it. That looks nice, nice and neat. Some people like to cut it straight, some people like to take it forward more, but I think that, that looks fairly neat there. And that's what it's all about, just making it look neat. Okay, so I'll just put a rivet in the bottom of the barge cap in here to hold it in place. And then we'll sort out the top of it. So again, like we did at the bottom there, you just want to make sure that the, um, the top of this barge capping is running along evenly with the top of the sheets before you start trying to mark out um, the center of the fascia line here. Okay, that seems to be the dead center of the fascia there. So we'll just mark that. Now this one, obviously the first one that we put on is gonna be our underlap. And the second one that we put over the top is gonna to lap over this one. So that's just there so that when we do the one over the top, I can see where the center line is. Okay, and I'll just square up a line across the, the top here. And what I normally do is I normally leave about a 20 mil tag on and bend that bit down so that the other one laps over the top. Okay, as I said before, I just left that 20 mil tag on, so I'm gonna bend that section down there. So we've got a fixing point with our other one that laps over the top. Okay, so yeah, just with your pliers, just bend this section down. It doesn't have to be perfect this bit because it will be covered up by the roll top ridge at the top here. Okay, now I'll level this one up to where I had it at the start when I did my marks and then I'll put a couple of rivets in it. Okay, I'm happy with that. So I'll just start on this other side now.
Okay, that's come up pretty good, about the same as the other side. I'll just pop a rivet in here. And we'll join the two at the top. Now here's where that, that line that I did when I um, straightened up this one will come in handy because once we lap these across the top there, that'll show you exactly where you need to join the two. So I just need to mark that section. And what I'll do is I'll just cut this top bit a bit long for now, and then I'll put it back across the top and I'll remark it. Okay, that seems to be sitting fairly even on both sides. So now I can just mark where the top meets. Then we'll put our final lines in. And just with these last cuts, just make sure you do those as neat as you can. Okay, and that's how they should meet up. I'll just put a rivet in there to hold those two together. Okay, that's basically how they, um, how the two barge cappings go on. Now I will put some screws through the top here. Uh, a lot of the time I don't put any fixings through the face of this barge capping because it, it does show up on your house. It doesn't look that good. Um, but if you are having a lot of trouble of holding that in and it's flapping around at all, then you will need to try and as neatly as you can put some fixings through the front there. Maybe some screws might be the best option, one every meter or something. But as I say, I, I try to not to put anything, any fixings through there. I'll just make sure that that's it nicely in place. And a lot of the time, 
if that's just slipping up and down a bit, once I've put this screw in the top here, that should hold it in place. I'll do that now and show you. Just make sure your screw is in line with the other screws on the roof as well. And that it also goes through the, the top of the corrugation. So I'll just need to work out where the corrugation is. And I'll just pre-drill a hole for those screws. And I'm just going to put a couple of rivets through into the, um, into the stop end here. so that it holds that, holds the barge capping in place. Just make sure when you drill those holes in the stop end that the gutter is square as well. Sometimes the gutter's slipping down or, or, or up a bit, but it's a good time to try and get that gutter square when you're putting the rivets in there because that'll hold it in place. And to finish this side off, I just need to put these screws in. I just use the same screws as the roofing ones. Uh, they're 12 by 50s. These are going into the timber battens, so they've got the, um, the Type 17 timber, timber point on the end. So we go all the way through the, uh, through the top of the barge capping, through the top of the corrugation, and down into the batten with these screws. Make sure you don't put them in too tightly because it will dent the top of the barge capping. Now that, that's that side complete, and I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side there.
try and make sure the bit that you bend down there is roughly on the same angle as that roof line there. Even if, see that line that I've done there where I'm going to lap the other one over, even if that's not perfect, when I, when I lay the next one over the top, I can always adjust that line slightly and, and bend that one down in a different spot. But just make sure you haven't cut it too short because you can't extend it, obviously. If you, um, if you think it's a little bit long, that's okay, but don't cut it too short because you can always trim it up when it's a bit long. And the same again, if I just mark the bottom of that center line there, and then I'll just cut this top piece off a little bit too long for now. And then once I lap it over again, I'll be able to remark it and straighten it up. Just work out where the top of this corrugation is. With the corrugated iron, roughly from center of center of the um, top of the rib there to the center of the next top of the rib is about 80 mil. If you if you just put your tape measure on there and double check that. So I've measured from that one and gone 160 mil so that I can go the dead center of that next corrugation there. On this side, I've only got the one corrugation underneath it, unlike the other side, which had the two. Um, so we just want to make sure we're in the, the center of that corrugation, obviously. So that'll only be 80 mil on this one. Okay, I'm reasonably happy with the way that came up. Um, yeah, look, as, as I said before at the start there, um, I don't usually like to put any fixings in the front of this barge capping, so it can, can look a bit average. 
on the front of your house if you've got um, fixings through the front here. As long as you get that top as neat as you can with screws down through there, that should be definitely strong enough um, for no need to have to put any fixings through the front. Um, if you don't get this as neat as what I've done here, if you don't manage to get it as neat as that with the cut through the middle here, it's not the end of the world really because when you lay, lay your ridge capping over the top, um, as I'll show you in the next episode, you can, you can put a, a, like a piece of metal across here to cover up that anyway afterwards. Um, so yeah, don't be too hard on yourself if you don't get that as neat as that one. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. Um, I've got my screws through the top holding it down and rivets and um, yeah, that's, that's both ends done. I'm Darren from Metal Roofing Online. Thanks for watching. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of our YouTube instructional videos. I'm Darren. And I'm Lily. We are part of the customer service team here at Metal Roofing Online. If we've been able to bring you any value here today, the greatest compliment you could give us is liking, loving and sharing this video online with everyone you know. Make sure to tag us as we love hearing from our followers. If you need any roofing materials, please head across to our website and take a look at the fantastic prices we offer and our huge delivery coverage across Australia. If you have any questions at all, please email or call us as we would be happy to help you. Thank you.